Resupply, you call me out, I'm here to answer you, baby. All right, let's go. So, we're here to talk about the Aquarium Tuber Challenge. And, first of all, enjoy the 44 second. All right. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on. So, I'm gonna do my tuber challenge, but I'm gonna mix it up. Just like D from Brooklyn, shout him out. Cause I heard this idea from him, so I said, you know what? That's a good idea, so we're gonna do it not only for reef tanks or saltwater tanks, but I'm gonna challenge some freshwater people too, so we're gonna split this up in two. We're gonna do the saltwater and we're gonna do freshwater. So here we go. First question fish only tank or reef? Reef. Hands down. I, I, I just don't care for fish only tank, it's just not enough. Um, I just, I just like to see the movement of the corals, the growth, all that. Yeah, the growth of the fish and everything is great, but I want a little bit more out of it, not just rocks and, you know, I, I want fish, corals, you know, reef, that's it. Soft or hard coral, I gotta go with soft. Um, and just like a lot of people that I've seen do the challenge say, they're easy to take care of, they're pretty, there's a lot of variety of them. Not saying that there's not a lot of, lot of variety of um, hard corals, but they're, they require a lot more. And I don't consider myself a, a pro by any means. You know, I'm still learning. So the softies do it for me right now. I'm starting to venture out into hard, but that, 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 that's gonna take some, some more practice. So my favorite coral, I've always loved it. I still love it. I don't have any in my tank right now because I just can't seem to keep it alive, but the torch coral. I just love the movement of it. Um, I think I think the torch is what drew me to the whole loving the Euphilia um, line. As you can see at the top left, the frog spawn, there's two different types. So, you know, the, 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 the torch is, is my favorite. Favorite fish, um, the clownfish. I mean, that's that's what draws everybody to uh, to the hobby. You know, the clownfish. You see it in just about every tank. And even if you're a kid, you know what a clownfish is, Nemo. So it's it's just an all-around, always a great fish. And you can get them for reasonably priced or. You can get the designer ones for hundreds of dollars. I mean, it's up to you, but they all still look good regardless of it. They all have, you know, the patterns on them. So the clownfish is my choice. Least favorite coral. Um, as I said, as I said with the other answer, I think hard corals is, you know, I'm just gonna generalize it. Um, just because of the care and uh, the stuff that you have to, extra stuff that you have to do, dosing and stuff like that. Not saying that the soft corals you don't have to dose or anything like that, but hard corals just requires a lot more. Least favorite fish? I don't really think I have one, but if I had to choose just from the fishes that I had, I'm gonna say the, the Chromus, only because he was just, he terrorized, he terrorizes every fish in, in my tank, every fish. And he's killed a couple. That's the reason why he hasn't made it to this tank. Um, he's a uh, Chromus. Had that little guy from, he was smaller than that damsel over there, and now he's bigger than every one of these other fishes in here. So I'm gonna go with that Chromus. Homemade or commercial food? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't, I don't wanna try to make nothing up. So commercial, I just go pull it off the shelf, thaw it out, you know, or, Pour it in the tank, whichever way. I mean, commercial, hands down. It's just not worth my time to go start making food. It may be more economical, but you know, the time that you put in is a whole nother, another era. All right, so LED T5 metal highlight, LEDs for the multiple reasons, bulbs, longevity, um, spectrums. I mean, you, you can, you can get 
LEDs for a lot cheaper than, than T5s and the, the maintenance costs on it just it's just crazy but I mean the growth and everything T5s would do the job but for me it's LEDs what would be my dream tank I already have a wall picked out in my house um, two to three hundred gallons um, reef it's it's at some point it will it will be in my house I already have the wall and everything picked out for it now I need to challenge three other channels to take part in the Aquarium Cuba Challenge. So, who am I gonna nominate? I'm gonna nominate Cop Ice Fartlek, and I'll, if I butcher your name, I'm sorry, but um, I'll put the link in the description. Reefing with Billy Pipes, and Mika Wallen. So you three, let's go ahead and get it done. And I appreciate y'all watching. Once again, Respy, shout out to you. I'll put a link to your channel in the description. Check him out. And thanks for nominating me. And I'll catch you on the next one. Now this is the freshwater remix for the Aquarium Tuba Challenge, where I'm gonna challenge three people in the freshwater community to just go through these questions. Pretty similar to the reef. So, be from Brooklyn, I heard you, 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 you put this out. I went to your channel, watched the video, grabbed the, grabbed the questions. And I say, you know what? That's a good thing, D. Let's get everybody involved. So here we go. Fish only, planted tank, or reef. Seeing that we're talking about plant, planted tanks, we're gonna say planted tank. Soft coral, soft or hard coral, floating plants or stem plants. I'm gonna go with stem plants. Favorite coral or favorite plant? I'm gonna say Amazon sword. Um, I like that the variety of them and stuff like that because you can get a lot of different variety on Amazon sword and they all look great, they grow great, they're easy to take care of. So I'm gonna go with Amazon sword. Favorite fish? I'm gonna say my favorite fish is gonna be within the tetra tetra family. I know there's a lot of them beyond tetra sword tail tetras, but I'm just gonna go with the tetra family. I think they're all cool and uh, they all have their own different uniqueness about them. Um, Lee's favorite coral or plant? I would say duckweed because once you get that in your tank um, you ain't getting it out. Even though I see goldfish is a good way of getting them out but you know if you if you if you don't have your tank catered to a gold for a goldfish then I don't I don't see that happening so um, duckweed is gonna be mine. My least favorite fish my least favorite fish is actually a fish that I like, which is kind of weird. But the reason why I don't like it is because you don't ever seen it. And the one I'm talking about is a ghost knife. Um, I had one, you never ever see that fish. Um, it comes out at night and rarely you ever catch it through the day. Um, I watched Dan um, Huesner or whatever his name is. He has a ghost knife um, in, in one of his tanks and I mean, if he doesn't have the camera right there and then when he when the ghost knife is moving, he ain't catching it. Um, catching a look at it. It is very rare. It's an elusive fish. Alright, homemade or commercial food? Once again, commercial. Um, too much work with the homemade. LED T5 Mellow Highlights. LEDs again. Um, I know the other Mellow Highlights and, and T5s and you know, they, they, they give you better growth and stuff like that, but just for the all-round um, tank, I say LEDs. Um, dream tank, um, just anything planted, large. And I need to challenge three people. So the three people that I'm gonna challenge is gonna be Deb Tim, a Canadian girl, Tankhead videos, and Young Tank. Y'all yeah, been challenged, let's see how we do. Keep it, keep the tagging going. Alright, I'll catch you on the next one.